Two weeks prior to the installation of the auxiliary battery inside the car, I noticed that my car would not shift out of park. I started to worry, I started freaking out. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna spend a lot of money now at the dealership to fix this problem. After doing my research, I found out what to do. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel if you haven't already subscribed please go ahead and smash that subscribe button turn on the post notification leave me comments in the section below like and don't forget to share this video so this video is going to be an update from the previous video i posted about installing the auxiliary battery so two weeks prior from installing the auxiliary battery i ran into an issue so the issue was i could not shift the car out of park it would not go into neutral it wasn't wasn't going into drive and it wasn't going to reverse i started freaking out guys i was like oh my god what the fuck did i do oh what's happening i stood calm and i did a lot of research on youtube this one youtube channel showed me what to do i know i said in my previous video that when you install the auxiliary battery you did not have to reset or reprogram anything that's false i did not know if you should have reset it or reprogrammed anything. So I just said that out of the blue, but that's not true. So you have to reset the transmission in order for the battery to accept the car, or you will run into this issue that I ran into. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to reset the transmission to solve this issue. Pardon me guys for the focus. All right, so to begin the reset process, if you have your key or if you have a push to start, you gotta make sure the car is in accessory mode. So press button twice or you turn the key twice to go into accessory mode. Make sure all the lights are on on the dashboard. This signifies that the car is in accessory mode. The next step is you depress the gas pedal all the way for 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, guys, I'm gonna come right back. Okay, so 20 seconds is gone. The next step is you're gonna turn the car off and then remove your foot from the gas pedal. After you remove your foot from the gas pedal, wait two minutes before you start the car. So after two minutes is gone, I'm gonna come right back. So two minutes has passed. The next step is to turn the car on and start the car. Now you try and put it into gear and see if it shifts out of park. And there you go that's it so i want to thank the guy on youtube that showed me this process i really do appreciate him i'm not sure what's the name of his channel but i will try and leave um it in the description box below so you can go ahead and follow him too as well he has great content on his channel okay guys so this completes the short little diy how to reset your transmission after replacing the auxiliary battery inside your mercedes vents all right guys so please remember if you do decide to change your auxiliary battery it's mandatory to reset the transmission if you do not reset the transmission you will run into this issue it didn't happen to me right away like i said it happened to me two weeks after that's why i'm making this video i know i said in the past video that um you do not have to reset anything but um yeah you do have to reset the transmission all right guys so thanks again for watching my video please like share comment on this video and um don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so much and i catch you guys in the next one peace